The Papercut NG and Papercut MF System Health Interface expose a number of endpoints that allow you to monitor the health of your Papercut installation and its connected infrastructure using monitoring tools such as PRTG. Your monitoring tool does not need to be expensive or complicated and as long as it has the capability to check whether a web page is up, you can configure it to monitor your print environment using Papercut System Health Interface. The interface also offers detailed system information in a JSON format for more advanced monitoring tools. In this example we are going to use PRTG to monitor a Papercut MF installation. We'll start by installing PRTG, configuring the email notifications and setting up a device. We'll then set up some of the most commonly used options you may wish to monitor in future videos. Let's start off in Papercut and take a look at the system health monitoring URLs. First, let me log into Papercut as an administrator, select Options, then Advanced, and scroll down to the System Health Monitoring section. From here we have a selection of our most commonly used URLs offering options such as the amount of RAM currently being used, allowing you to monitor if your server may require additional resources, right through to the number of print jobs that have been printed in the last 60 minutes, allowing you to monitor if there's been a drop in the expected print volume. All of our URLs are secured using an authorization key. An example of this you can find below the links. As you can see, the authorization link, which is unique to your installation, needs to be included in every URL. I'm now going to open up the primary health check URL. As you can see, this is a simple URL, simply showing you the overall health of the Papercut system. Next, I'll click on the Detailed System Information link. As you can see, this offers a lot more detailed information on the health of your system. You will find a lot of the areas you wish to monitor can be found here, both including the RAM and CPU usage. We don't display all of our health URLs in our interface, but we have a simple way for you to be able to find them all. From this detailed view, I'm going to modify the URL. After the word health, I'm going to enter a forward slash and a random letter, in this case D. Hitting return, you will see the full list of system health URLs will be returned for you to access. Don't forget, if you use one of these URLs, you will need to add the authorization code onto the end for you to be granted access. Further information on our Papercut NG and Papercut MF system health URLs can be found in our manuals. There are a whole host of different monitoring tools available. In this example, I'm going to use PRTG to monitor my installation. PRTG can be downloaded from the Pesla website as a free trial. They also offer freeware which may be sufficient for you to monitor your system. I've already got the software downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the installation, selecting English, then reading the terms and conditions before selecting Agree. Next up, I'll enter my admin email address which will be used for most of the system notifications, followed by my license key. In this example, I have a trial license ready to go. Next, I'll wait for the installation to complete. Once completed, the PRTG web interface will be opened automatically and I can then log in using the default account. For security, it's definitely worth changing your admin password for PRTG as this default account is listed on their website. Once the website has appeared, you will notice one of the Pesla team will greet you and offer to lead you through an introductory tour. If you are unfamiliar with PRTG, I would definitely recommend it. However, in this case, I'm going to choose to skip the first look. Next up, 
Let's set up our email notification so the administrator can be notified should an error occur. Go to Setup, System Administration, Notification Delivery. From here I'm going to choose the Use SMTP Relay Server option as I'm going to set up my system to work with Gmail as the SMTP server. I'm going to go through and populate the SMTP settings with my Gmail details. Once complete, make sure you select Save. Now it's time to send a test notification. Go to Setup, Account Settings, Notifications. And against the Email and Push Notification to Admin option, select Test. This will send a test notification to the admin email address you set up during the installation. I'll jump over to my Gmail to make sure the notification has been received. This also shows an example of the emails an administrator will get if a notification on our papercut installation is triggered. Our final step in the setup and configuration of PRTG is to create a device which is the top level for all of the sensors we'll set up in later videos. From the top menu select devices. I'm going to minimise the network discovery section to make this a bit simpler. Then select the option for add device. I'm going to select the top level, local probe, and then select continue. I'm going to call my device Papercut, and as I have PRTG installed on the same server as Papercut, although not recommended for real installations, as if the server goes down, so does the monitoring, I'm going to enter localhost in the IP address field. There are no other options I need to configure here, so I'm just going to select continue. You will now see the new device has been created and I can click on this in the dashboard. That concludes the setup for PRTG to monitor the system health of Papercut using our monitoring URLs. The next step is to check out one of our sensor setup videos to start monitoring individual areas of your installation. Use one of the links here to start setting up our monitoring for RAM or CPU usage on your Papercut server. Otherwise, further videos are available on the Papercut YouTube channel. <laughs>